Hey guys, this is Brandon from Tap Rack Bank Training. Today we're going to talk about two of the most popular options when it comes to enclosed optics for pistols. On my left side here, I got the Steiner MPS, and on the right, I got the Aimpoint Acro P2. To preface this, I've had the Steiner MPS now since August of last year. We're filming this about April. So it has a few months. So this has about a round count of about five to 6,000 rounds. And I've only shot about 1,000 rounds out of this Aimpoint Acro from this Glock right here. So with that in mind, I can say with all the abuse I've put through this Steiner MPS, it has held up great. I have yet to see any scratches on the lenses. Um, and we've dropped this right and holster draw this a lot. Um, I do see a lot of scarring on the left, right side, on the top, but so far, no cracks, no dents, everything's protected. One thing that we see a lot of complaints online is the Steiner MPS screw right here, the, where the clamp is at. Uh, there has been a lot of recorded incidents where it has failed. Hasn't failed me yet. One thing that it did do is I clamped it down and I torqued it with its proper specifications. So if you're gonna do it, highly advise you do it properly, but so far so good on this one, no failures ahead. Now, when it comes to the Acro, I've only had the Acro since about February. And like I said, that's about two or three months, about a thousand rounds on this thing. Um, so far, super pristine, um, no scratches, no nothing. It has held out on this MOS Glock, right? So it's pretty great in that regard. So far, build quality in both items are super great. One of the differences between these two optics is where their battery is located. On the Steiner MPS, the battery is located on the top side, right? Um, advantages to this, in my personal opinion, is that it gives you equal shadow on the left and right side of the optic, right? Um, because every time you aim down, there is obstruction on the side. So the profile is kind of similar on the left and the right side. On the Acro, on the other hand, the battery compartment is on the left side of the optic. Um, looking down on it, uh, the profile is not the same, but honestly, these are super small differences when it comes to battery compartments. Next difference we, we find is that the Steiner has a slightly bit bigger optic window, right? The viewing window that you have. Now, when you're using the red dot appropriately though, I don't think it's gonna matter as much as if you're doing target focusing, um, that you're just looking through the optic anyway. Also, one thing that we've noticed is that the Acro sits a little higher than the Steiner, right? If this is the mounting lug right here, the deck height on a Steiner MPS is actually lower. And I can say that because what I tried mounting it, right? So this right here is a Springfield Prodigy. The way it's mounted, right, is there's an adapter plate into an Acro adapter plate, right? Which makes the uh, Steiner sit a little high. So for this one, since the deck height of the Steiner MPS is a little lower than a uh, Aimpoint Acro, you can still see the rear sight and the front sight through the optic. A few weeks ago, I mounted the Acro onto the Prodigy, right? With this mounting system it has. And the Acro actually sits a little higher or the viewing windows higher than the Steiner MPS to a point where I cannot see the rear and front sight. Now the solution to that, which is actually the solution that's coming in, is that you just buy a dedicated mounting plate uh, for an Acro instead of doing this conversion thing. But for that note though, if you mount the Steiner MPS on a Glock um, where the mounting solution is right here, uh, the rear sight and the front sight is gonna be easier for you to find because, or easier for you to mount because it sits lower. Like I said, the Acro sits a little higher than the MPS in terms of its deck height. When it comes to the clarity of the optic, you'd have to be looking at both of them at the same time in order for you to perceive the difference. Other than that, if you're using an Acro or a Steiner MPS individually, I don't think you see the difference. When it comes to the brightness, I've noticed that the Acro produces a brighter dot than the Steiner MPS. Now, that doesn't mean that at full setting, I'm unable to see the Steiner MPS on a hot day here in SoCal. Of course, I'm still able to utilize both. All I'm saying is that this is definitely producing a brighter light. So the Aimpoint Acro has about 10 settings. Six of them are daytime, four of them are night vision, and then the Steiner MPS has about eight settings. Six of them are daytime and two of them are night vision. Now, let's talk about my gripe when it comes to the Steiner MPS and its brightness setting, okay? For some reason, whoever designed this thing, decided that they want to put a 13 hour cutoff or an auto shutoff feature. I'm sure it means well, but the problem is that when I first mounted this in the Prodigy, 
turned it on, holstered it up, picked it up the next morning, and I realized that the dot is off and had to turn it on. I had to go back, turn off the shut off, right, in order for it to stay on. But here's the problem. The moment you turn on the auto shut off on the Steiner MPS, you lose the highest brightness setting on it. You're now only able to go to the seventh highest instead of the eighth, okay? With the seventh setting, honestly, on daytime right now, you're still able to see it, but you're definitely not getting as much bloom as the other guy over there uh, when you're using it. But I just thought that that was a weird um, addition, having a 13-hour cutoff and such an expensive red dot. All right, guys, now let's talk about what everybody's been asking for, okay? Battery life. When it comes to battery life, this guy right here, the Inpoint Acro, has about 50,000 advertising, and the Steiner MPS has about 13,000 hours. Can't speak for the Acro so far. So far, it's doing great. I can not speak for the Steiner MPS, though. We are in Southern California, and it's sunny here most of the time, so I've had to run this Steiner MPS at its max setting, which is seven, because the auto shut off is off, um, for the most part. The problem that I'm encountering with it, though, is that I had this at August, and then the red dot died uh, last week, mid-April, right? So that's a good few months less than the actual advertised hours, right? To note though, I had a full setting. If I had a medium setting, it likely would have reached that 13,000 hours, but since that's full, it reached a few months less than what is actually advertised. Although to say, right, for the Aimpoint Acro, I'm likely gonna be running this not at its max setting though, at medium setting, because that medium setting right now, and it's bright enough for me to use. So I'm hoping it's gonna reach that 50,000 hours. So for the price point, the Steiner MPS comes in slightly lower at about $630 uh, MSRP. We've also found this thing for about $450 uh, to about 500 bucks on sale. The Aimpoint Acro, on the other hand, comes in at MSRP of $660, close to $670 to be honest with you. But if we've never seen this guy go anywhere lower than $520 bucks on sale, okay? So there is a big significant price difference, but it, obviously MSRP is MSRP, but what is actually in the streets, the Steiner is definitely cheaper than the Aimpoint Acro. So a couple of the final pros and cons, right? For the pro on the Aimpoint Acro, this definitely has a clear glass, right? Slightly more clear than the Steiner MPS. Brightness is also great, as brighter dot than the Steiner MPS. The con in this one is the deck height is slightly higher. And then on the left side, you have the battery compartment slightly offsetting uh, the field of view, right? When you're shooting it. When it comes to Steiner, right? You can pretty much use whatever tool you got. I mean, I, can, I believe you can use a nine millimeter round actually to adjust the Steiner MPS right, right here right to adjust its um, left and right and then up and down windage and then also obviously elevation the problem with the Inpoint acro is that it has this thing right here where it has a key or you have this little two points right there so you can either use one of these aim point things right to unlock it or you have to use this little key right here so let's say you're out in the field you don't have your tools on you there's no way for you to adjust this uh, aim point to re-zero it now the deck height doesn't matter as much unless you have an RMR cut and then you're trying to do a conversion plate and then you're trying to attach the acro and then you're trying to have a backup iron sights, right? Um, on the Steiner MPS, the pro is that it has a lower deck height. So if you, you're one of those RMR guys that's doing a conversion onto the acro, you'll be good to go when it comes to your backup iron sights. Um, it also has the top battery compartment right here, which doesn't impede the left and right side view of the optic. For the cons on the Steiner MPS, its dot is not as bright as the Aimpoint Acro, and it has a significantly lower battery life than what this guy has. So, whatever you choose, pick the right one for you. There's definitely pros and cons to both. You decide. Make sure you like our videos and subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content out there. We drop a video every Tuesday for your viewing pleasure, uh, and we vary up the, uh, the content, so that way we stay relevant for you.